What's up Fortnite family? I'm Matt and it's Sunday, which means we're going to go over all of this week's Fortnite news. In today's weekly news update, the Fortnite pro Zate has accused Tifu and five others of using macros. A tweet about the Chaos skin has caused mass speculation about the upcoming device event. New leaks have given more context on the upcoming destroyed agency and much more. Our biggest story this week comes in the form of Zate accusing Tifu and five other Fortnite pro players of using macros for their double movement keybinds. For those for those of you who don't know, a macro requires the use of a third party program to bind multiple keystrokes to a single button, which would make it easier to do certain things in game. Zate launched his scathing attack after a feud broke out between EJ Lad and Serpent AU, when the former accused the latter of using macros for fast editing in his videos. Serpent admitted to using the macros in a video once, but then said he decided against using them again in the future. In his tweets, Zate claimed that Tifu, Unknown Army, Zexro, Bucky FPS, Canada, and Creo all used macros to make double movement work, which annoyed him because he'd practiced the technique for a year to make it work. All of the pros mentioned in the tweets, bar Tifu and Zexro, responded to the allegations and said that they basically had no real idea what Zay was talking about. Zayt went on to delete his tweets shortly after and offered no proof at any point in time that any of the pros were actually using macros. The new site Fortnite Intel reached out to Zayt for further comment and he responded by saying there was no evidence of anyone except Tifu currently using macros. He went on to say that the other pros he had initially mentioned were actually probably all legit. Despite maintaining his position on Tifu, Zayt has offered no proof to verify his point. Back to the Australian YouTubers that caused this flare up of Twitter beef in the first place, Serpent AU has been dropped from his organization Overtime Gaming in response to his macro usage. On June 9th, Overtime Gaming tweeted a statement regarding the issue. The statement said that it was their job to look after both their talent and the community that they were building, and so they were releasing Serpent from his contract completely. They went on to say that after further investigation, they had definite reasoning to believe Serpent had committed what they call an act of dishonesty through the use of macros, and that they don't condone that type of behavior. The official Fortnite account tweets about skins entering and leaving the item shop all the time, but this week a certain skin release tweet has some people thinking that there might be more than meets the eye to the Chaos Agent. This skin was originally released in Chapter 2 Season 1 and has been a regular in the item shop ever since, but the tweet that Epic used to show off the character recently had Twitter users questioning whether there was a deeper hint at play. The tweet in question read, looks good in his suit, but it's not his final form. Currently the Chaos Agent has two different styles, but both are wearing a suit, so what Epic means by final form is currently unknown. Even now, close to the conclusion of Chapter 2 Season 2, it's a little hard to understand what happened in season one, but the general consensus was that the Chaos Agent was in control of Alter, and that Alter later became the Shadow Faction, who still used the Chaos Agent in their banner. With so much riding on the device event, many are theorizing now that the Chaos Agent will make some sort of a move during the upcoming event, and may even sabotage Midas' efforts after gaining control of the island, resulting in a new third style to the skin after the event. On the subject of the upcoming device event, which is now just days away, new leaks have surfaced on Twitter from data miners, revealing even more of the destruction that is set to ruin the agency building. Up until this point, we've only had mere glimpses at what the destroyed agency might look like after the device event, but as we can see from these new data mined leaks, the destruction is set to be truly awesome. Epic is clearly ramping up to the genuine release date of the device event now, with no more setbacks in sight, as the hatches around the agency have finally popped open Open, and the countdown has appeared above the agency itself in game. So it won't be long until we get to see that destroyed agency from the leaks in the game for real. After a week long hiatus, the Ninja Battle series of Fortnite Invitational Tournaments returned this week. The tournament was filled with thrills throughout the course of the day, and while it remained tight throughout, the end result was a victory for Emad GG, Commandment, and Bizzle. The Ninja Battle series remains incredible to watch, especially now with the addition of the arena mode format, which has hopefully removed the chances of those boring endgame flopper heal-offs in the future. The next tournament will be taking place next week, right after the release of the new season which should hopefully feature some shakeups to the meta. Speaking of shaking up the meta, let's talk about stealing walls for a moment. While ping dependent, or north facing dependent, stealing walls is a safe way to get the upper hand on your opponent. There are only a few limited options that you have if someone takes your wall and you're in a box. 
but Prodigy Gaming has found a new strategy that lets you take the offensive. Instead of running away, this new strategy has you place a Dorito cone down, which allows you to pop a couple of shots off against your opponent while they have absolutely no way to hit you from their own angle. It might take a little bit of practice, you need to have some room above you which means editing or breaking your ceiling, but this new strat looks to be pretty powerful. We really hope you enjoyed this week's breakdown of Fortnite news. If you did, why not leave a like? Make sure you can catch all of our Pro Guides videos by subscribing and hitting the bell. I'll see you all again next week for a breakdown of the new Season 3 update.